I'm here in Queen's Road Cemetery in Walthamstow in the East End of London and the grove I'm at is of a chap called Bert Akers. You may not have heard of this man but he was truly revolutionary in the world of photography and film. He was born on the 23rd of July in 1854 in Virginia to English parents. Sadly he lost his parents uh, aged 14 when they were defending their plantation in the American Civil War and then he was raised by his aunt who encouraged his hobbies and his love of photography. She sent him to the Sorbonne in Paris and when he came back to England he was the inventor of the moving 35 millimeter camera also the first daylight camera showing images and also a projector. He started making short black and white movies. He also made uh, one called Kangaroo Boxing, the Henley Regatta, the Oxford and Cambridge Boat Race. Um, and the last one he made was Britain versus Boar in 1900. But the day that really stands out for this guy was on the 10th of January, 1896. He did a film showing to the Lions Down Photographic Society at the Assembly Rooms in Barnet. It was the first time that moving images had been shown to anybody in the United Kingdom. He stopped making his movies in 1900 and he went into the world of photography using celluloid film. Sadly, in 1909, he went bankrupt. Then, on the 27th of December, 1918, he passed away aged 64 of peritonitis in Whitechapel. But mystery surrounds how he ended up here in Queen's Road in Walthamstow because at the time he was living in New Barnet in Hertfordshire, also that he died in Whitechapel. But I think that here in the East End of London and especially in Walthamstow, we are an exalted company. We are in the presence of a truly groundbreaking uh, revolutionary chap. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and today I'm at Queen's Road Cemetery here at the grave of Bert Akers, the master of the moving image. And today's quite a special day because it's uh, Alan Akers, his grandson, it's his 89th birthday but the man who discovered this grave I want to introduce you now to my good friend and fellow historian Dominic Stinton. Good to see you Don. Good to see you Gary. I should hasten to add that I didn't discover, discover the grave, obviously <coughs> other people knew it was here, but I think perhaps the presence of an international figure in cinema was a bit neglected, mm. and it still is, yeah. sadly. But um, after I found this grave, I was contacted by Bert Aker's grandson, Alan Akers, and Alan, who was then in his early 80s, was kind enough to spend a few hours with me mm. talking about the achievements of his grandfather. Mm. And I found out that Bert Akers was the first person to show a film in the UK, but also perhaps the first person to show a film in the whole world. So a really significant figure in the history of cinema. An absolute pioneer of the movie image. Yeah, absolutely. So, Today, the uh, t television cameras and um, you know the, t the images we see on TV, basically this guy is the founder. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot to thank him for. I think so. Okay, Dom, thanks for your information. Well, thank you, Gary. And okay. um, let's hope that this very special episode is appreciated by Alan on his 89th birthday. Indeed, if not the world. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Lewis Presents. It was entitled, Bert Akers, The Master, of the moving image. Thanks for watching.